All right, today I want to make a video. I've been wanting to do this. It's one of my favorite shots, and I think it's very underutilized by many players. And when I do see it happen, I love seeing it because once you learn them, you don't realize how much they can save you. They can also technically get you in trouble every once in a while, but it's worth having in your uh, repertoire of shots. That is the forehand roller. You don't see it enough. You really don't even see a lot of backhand rollers, but forehand rollers are very, to me, they're more technical. You can, you can do a lot more with them than the backhand roller. Backhand roller to me is just, to me, big distance. Uh, occasionally get out of trouble, but forehand rollers, you can do all sorts of weird stuff. Little short ones, say you're stuck on your knee behind a tree and you just want to, instead of pitching out, get good at them, you can start shaping shots. But there's a few things you got to know before you start doing them and uh, just recommendations. And we will talk about that in this video. So the obvious shot you need for these is the forehand. You got to practice your forehands. Doesn't really matter the grip. It's just your go-to forehand. And then the real focus is the angle control. But first, so learn your forehands. Get comfortable. Clean. Good snap. Snap is very important on the forehand rollers. If you don't generate a lot of spin, you're not going to get a long roller. Um, and it may burn out before you hit the ground. So, practice your forehands first. One more thing I forgot to mention. You're not just throwing it out there like a baseball. you got to have a little bit of that hinge. Kind of really work on that. That's where you generate a lot of that spin. So, you just got to throw it. It'll look like that. And, I mean, it may work for you. But, the more you hinge it, you'll get that good snap, good spin work a lot but that will be flat. The wind is holding that up. Right, the next most important to me is obviously angle control. This is very very important. Um, what you want to do for learning this would help. If you throw a disc out maybe about 15 or 20 yards uh, that'll work. But you want a landing zone. You have got to envision like a landing zone. You can't just throw out there. You want to get a consistent landing zone or else your disc depending on its stability, it's gonna flip over before it hits the ground. Whether it's too stable, it may burn out to the right. Too understable, it's gonna go left. To get the most out of it, you gotta have in your mind that landing zone and kind of envision how it's gonna roll. So practice that. If you need to put a disc out there, it'll definitely help. But for the go-to forehand roller, to me, I think about 1.30, think of a clock, 1.30 p.m. Uh, or a.m. Uh, Maybe two, it depends, but somewhere in that line. If you throw too vertical, it's more than likely gonna flip out and it's gonna burn left. So really focus on that 130 to two landing zone. Cause you really want it to land at about that angle and then it'll stand up and then fall off to the right and to the left. Or right. Yeah. Really focus on that and do these slow. Think about your landing zone. Stands up rolling didn't put a lot of power on it so it's going to finish to the right i'm going to put a little more power on this one it should finish to the left standing up rolling a little longer thick grass still pretty straight now i'm going to try to get the finish left went a little more vertical so this is the thing the more you practice you can really get a mess that's pretty wild there. So, angle control, just think about the clock. If you can get that same angle every time, you can manipulate shots so well. So you imagine all the trees you could be dodging right now versus some shots you could never throw that. So remember that you want that good snap and um, just same thing, same form as a forehand, but you're just coming over the top. But really important, think about the landing zone, think about your angle. Another factor, we got a little headwind coming at us. Got to keep wind in mind because if you throw out there and it's really windy, this is a pretty neutral disc. Imagine you're throwing a disc into a headwind, just a regular shot. It's going to turn over a little bit. So you do that with a roller, it's going to turn over and it's going to stand it up quicker. And it's going to burn out faster. So you may have to adjust according to the wind. Um, yeah practice 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 maybe start out short just 
to the ground. All right, disc selection, I think the most ideal disc for just what I'm throwing, just your go-to forehand, push it out a long way and turn over at the end are the seven to 10 speeds, the fairways. Ideally something with a rim that's got a good surface area, not too sharp, not too wide. To me, those are perfect. And you're just gonna have to practice in a different range of stabilities. Like I said, if you wanna push the longest, stay up the longest, um, I'd go something just perfectly neutral. Understable, it's gonna burn out quicker to the left. Uh, more overstable, you can force them to go to the right, which can be very useful in certain instances. But yeah, you gotta know what you're gonna throw. So don't go to a tournament and just think it's gonna do something. You gotta really know your disc. That's very important for the shot. Know your disc, know what it's gonna do. And it can be absolute weapon for you. So that's for the longer distance ones. This one, I just brought a gator. More overstable, it's a mid-range. To me, these that surface area is just perfect. They stay up a long way. And uh, the overstability, I can put it on a little more angle and force it to go right. So think about more 2 to 2.30 a.m. or p.m. Um, let's say the second tree on the hill. I want it to run up the hill and sit near that. Pretend that's a basket. Put a little more angle on it, and it's going to hold it with its stability up the hill. And that's an easy putt at the tree. <laughs> so, that's a very useful shot. You don't really see the curling to the right as much. You see the long ones that curl to the left. And then, to me, the, one of the most fun shots are with these pigs. It could be any, um, I guess, a putter or a mid. Just really neutral, good surface area. Slower disc. These are the ones you can re really manipulate around the green. You can get these things to just stay straight for a long way. Pretty neutral. Straight, straight, straight. There's some weird wind going on right now. That's pretty weird right there. But they'll hold up almost to the very end and just tip over. Straight. The wind, you can see the wind. Good lord. So keep in mind the wind. Do one more. Straight. Track that one too. So those are a little more understable. You can see they're just going where the wind's taking them. The more stable, you're gonna you're gonna fight the wind a little longer. And so keep that in mind. As an example, I got a passion and a beat up long bowman. These are uh, a little more understable. So let's imagine we want a disc to stay straight for a little while and hook off to the left. This is where you can start manipulating the angles. If you go a little more vertical, you know it's gonna turn a little quicker. So with the added less stability. I'm going to hope that I can see it over there on the left. Like a magic trick. Let's see here. I'm going to go a little more vertical. More like 1, 1 a.m. 1 b.m. There we go. We'll hold up. We'll see. Oh, I saw a glimpse. Don't know if y'all did. One more. One more vertical. I'm going to really force this one. Curling, curling, curling. Where'd you get? There you are. So yeah, certain instances, obviously you can throw a hyzer here, but there's there's times when that's the only shot you could throw. Fun way to practice your accuracy, go out to an open field, find yourself soccer goal, anything. You could set up cones, make it bigger or smaller, depending on the distance. It'll really help you dial in what angle you need to put it on how much power you need, and then how your disc is gonna to react to each throw. Each disc is gonna be a little bit different. In this case, we found a small little section of open fence down here. Very small, but as long as I'm close, I'll be happy. If I can hit it, I'll be even more happy. It'll help you dial in just what you need. Straight, and we're good, and I'm happy. Turn. Oh, you've done it. Oh, I tried. Oh, look, one more. That one just hit the ground weird, but two out of four, we're happy. Like I said, when you want them to go right more, give them a little more angle. 
this will help you just imagine that Jomez follow flight in your mind and just envision the line you need. A little bit of a cut roller. Missed it. See my tangle. Perfect. Perfect. So, still pretty accurate, but being able to manipulate, the more you practice, you can do some weird stuff with these, and you will be glad you watched this video. All right, wrapping it up, most important things to remember, practice your forehand. Remember, we're not just throwing it. Get some good hinging power, practice forehand. More snap, more distance you'll get. Angle control, very important, most important. Remember the, the hands on the clock. 1.30 to me is ideal, or 2 p.m., 2 a.m., um, very important. More stand up and more understable, it's going to finish left really quick. More overstable, it may never stand up, it may just cut right, which may be what you want. Ideally, in general, the stock angle, I would say, would be 1.30. Focus on that. Also, remember the gapping out. You don't want to gap out another 40 yards because your disc is going to want to stand up in flight so think about the 20 to 25 yard range you'll get the most out of it you don't want to just throw here at the ground you don't want to try to gap out so right in that sweet spot stand up roll straight very important this selection we've got several stable mid it's going to hold a long time big nice surface area the go-to fairway drivers that Nice wide rim on the fairway and but thin blade and fast, you can get the most out of them. So, but the main thing, practice, 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 practice. You'll enjoy this shot a ton. You'll show off to your friends. It can, it can really help you out. There's a time and place for it, but the more you practice, the more confident you are, things will work out. Give it a shot, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. It's been fun.